Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. Are you struggling to write a research paper uh, with a better quality of language? So if you are struggling, so that is a solution for this. So a fantastic option to get the phrases for your research paper. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to write section wise research paper using this academic phrase bank tool. And also there will be having inbuilt templates that is phrases for every section of your research paper. So we will explore what are the important phrases available in every section of your research paper. And also we will explore how to write research paper easily using this academic phrase bank. So before going to today's video an important announcement from our channel is that we are going to conduct an online workshop on research paper writing using chat gpt and ai toolbox the main objective of this workshop is to familiarize you all with different ai tools which will be useful for research paper writing and also we are going to explore different chat gpt prompts how that prompts will be very useful for research paper writing so see you on our workshop so don't forget to register our workshop so the link of the registration will be given in the description of the video the tool what we are going to discuss today is that academic phrase bank so just to type on academic phrase bank so you'll be getting a link is link here so click on academic phrase bank so it lead to a page here so it it is a better uh, it, it will give better phrases for your research work starting from introduction introducing your work up to writing conclusion so we will explore one by one what are the important options and phrases available for research paper writing so first i am going to click introducing work so here in introducing work there are many ways to introduce an academic essay or short paper many academic writers however appear to do one or more following in their introduction so here you can see establish the context background and importance of the topic present an issue problem or controversy in the field of study so define the topic and key terms used in the paper state the purpose of the essay or a short paper provide an overview of the coverage and structure of writing so and also uh, these are the things you, you should be watch out to cover that particular introduction part so here what are the different options available for example say, say be cautious be critical classifying and listing compare and contrast defining terms describing trends so describing quantities explaining casualty giving example signaling transition writing about the past so these are the important things uh, to be considered while introducing your work so for example say we are going to describe the trends for example we are going to write a research paper on uh, renewable energy means so we have to uh, describe what are the recent trends in that particular topic and also we have to uh, mention what are the recent trends and uh, in the trends what we are going to do that is very important and objective of your research paper so i am going to click describing trends <coughs> here you can see the trend is the general direction in which something is developing or changing over time a projection is prediction or future trends so in this describing trends click on describing trends so here you can see you you can give a pinpointed value in this describing trends. for example if you show what are the improvement in this uh, renewable energy from uh, renewable energy in power sector from uh, 2000 to 2020 so like that you can give so uh, and uh, you can explain that in numbers so you can make use of this uh, template so here highlighting a trend so what is striking in this table or chart is the growth of is the high rate of for example if the growth of renewable energy usage has increased in nowadays so you can mention is the growth of uh, like that we can mention so here are the phr different phrases available so you can use any of the phrases so get, get rid of the problems in searching the better words for your research paper writing so you can use this option so next coming to describing quantities or defining terms for example say i am going to have defining terms so in this def defining terms you will be having introductory phrases so click on introductory phrases so here you can see uh, here you can see the templates here social economics may be defined as the branch of economics concerned with the measurement causes and consequences of the social problems so like that you can use this phrase so next uh, in, in order to give general meaning or application of the meaning so click on so x for example renewable energy can be broadly classified as so renewable energy can be loosely described as or in the literature the term tends to be used to refer to so like that you can mention instead of x you can add your terms and uh, definitions thereby you will you will get a sentence easily 
so these are the phrases where you can use in your research paper so next one is that in introduction part writing about the past so this is very important so you have to mention <coughs> about what are the work done in the same field before what uh, that is in the literature literary work so here you can see uh, time phrases associated with the use of simple past tense specific times or periods of time in the past so click on that <coughs> at the start of 19th century at the beginning of 19th century so like that you can start and you can give authorities placed restrictions on academics so what are the problems associated with that particular work you can explain here so next uh, uh, time phrases associated with the use of present perfect tense so the present perfect tense is typically used to describe recent research and several contributors for example i am going to click so here you can see previous studies of renewable energy have not dealt with so so you can mention so not dealt with the usage of renewable energy in power sector so i am going to do so i am going to mention what are the uh, trends available uh, that is usage of power uh, renewable energy in power sector so like that you can make use of this phrases so like that you can make this introductory work so next go moving on to reference to sources so here you can see these are the different uh, things referring to sources in referring to sources you can have general comments on relevant uh, literature so you can click on this so the literature on x so the literature on you can mention it as a reference paper or at uh, or uh, the author name that is etal like that you can mention so you can the literature on x has highlighted several uh, points so like that you can use so next uh, different theories exist in this literature regarding so like that you can start so there will be different options you can see here these are the different phrases available the existing literature on this particular paper you can mention that is the reference paper is extensive and focuses particularly on so like that you can make this option so you can write uh, relevant literature related with your particular topic or else you can see there are different options are available so references uh, to a previous investigation researcher prominent time prominent investigation prominent topic prominent next to reference to another writer's idea or position so like that in order to make a comprehensive literature review you will be having different uh, phrases available in this referring to sources so you can make use of this sources and make your uh, research paper write uh, writing grammatically correct so these are the things uh, uh, related with referring to sources so next to moving on to describing methods click on describing methods <coughs> here you can see so describing previously used research methods so this is very very important so next indicating the methodology of current research so this is where your proposed topology uh, explanation will uh, will be used to give so indicating the methodology of current research so click on that so here you can see the current study adopts a case study approach or a qualitative methodology is employed in the study for proposing your uh, that is uh, present work or else you can see this the current investigation utilizes an array of assessment techniques too so like that you can make use of this phrases to start your start explaining your proposed system and also you will be having the sentence formation so the present study uses utilizes employs so these are the important words you have to watch out for so sometimes we use it to put some of the words which is not apt for that particular sentence so in order to make your uh, writing grammatically correct so you can use this uh, uh, that is use this rule so the present study utilizes the conceptual tools of or a descriptive research design so like that you can mention uh, this sentences so and also you can see what are the other options available is that indicating the use of established method so indicating criteria for selection and inclu inclusion so describing the process so describing the process in terms of passive sequence words adverbs of manner questionnaire design statistical procedure indicating methodology problems or limitations so for example i am going to click this indicating methodological problems or limitation several issues arose when collecting uh, like that it will start so in particular the analysis of x was problematic uh, th like that you can start so these are the different phrases while starting your describing methods next in reporting results so click on reporting results so referring back the research aims or procedures next referring to data in a table or a chart so this is very important while reporting your research you have to mention or pinpoint what are the work you have done 
in that uh, simulation or any hardware work so you have to make a table or a chart uh, in order to present that work so here you can see table 1 shows an overview of or table 1 presents <coughs> the summary statistics of so we often used to write the table 1 shows only so we will not write presents provides compares so and also in figure 1 shows the breakdown of x according to r the intercorrelations among the nine measures of so like that you can write so here also another important phrase is that the table below illustrates the proportion of different categories for example if you are comparing different mppt techniques for a solar pv system so you can <coughs> make a table so the table below illustrates the proportion of different categories of mppt techniques adapted for solar pv system so like that you can start so the results of correlation analysis are shown in table or the themes identified in this responses can be seen in figure 1 so like that you can modify the sentence probably the there will be a problem occurring during plagiarism check so usually <coughs> people often use the same sentence figure sh figure 1 shows or figure 1 displays so like that only they use it to write research paper in in their own so in order to get rid of plagiarism in that particular lines you can use this kind of phrases to get rid of plagiarism in your research paper also so this is also a very important option in this phrase bank so here you can see what are the important options available is that highlighting significant data in a table or a chart so here uh, you have to highlight the work the proposed work you have done so you you'll, you can click on so here you can see what stand out in this table is the growth of for example if you want to pinpoint an MPPT algorithm is very better than other MPPT algorithm so you can use this kind of sentence what stand outs in the chart or what stand outs in the table is the rapid it is the general pattern or is the growth of so like that you can uh, mention uh, the sentence so for example i say what stands out in the table is the high rate of uh, efficiency present in that particular technique so you can mention like that so and also you can see stating positive results negative results reporting positive or negative reaction survey and interviews reporting response rates reporting proportions so like that summarizing the result section so i am going to click summarizing the result section here you can see uh, often we use it to write in summary like that only we use it to start even chat gpt will also generate uh, answers that is conclusion like that in summary or in conclusion like that so you can use this kind of sentences taking together these results suggest that or together these results provide an important insights or the results in this chapter indicate that so these are the different sentences where you can use in in explaining your results we often use it to write these results suggest only or in summary these results these are the often used sentence so you can use this kind of sentence to explain your uh, that is result section so next moving on to next section you can see the discussing findings so in this discussing findings <coughs> you can give provide background information reference from the literature for example say if i am going to use different mpbt methods in literature i have mentioned that this method gives this much efficiency for example and pso method gives 95 percentage efficiency means you can mention here like that so providing so several reports have shown that as mentioned in the literature review pso method gives 92 percentage efficiency whereas uh, our proposed method gives 97 percentage efficiency so like that you can make use of this sentences so we often use it to say that uh, as mentioned in literature review only so instead of that you can use this kind of sentence previous study evaluating or in reviewing the literature or as mentioned in the literature review like that you can make use of this kind of sentences to explain what has already happened in your literature review so at last uh, coming to conclusion so here you can see <coughs> summarizing research findings so this is very important so this study has identified or we in in conclusion we often use it to write this paper concludes or in conclusion like that we only start so instead of that you can use this kind of sentence this study has found out generally or this the investigation of this x is that method or the most obvious finding to emerge from the study is like that so you can use this kind of phrases to make your uh, uh, research paper writing that is uh, conclusion of the research paper very attractive also and also you will be having different 
templates associated with conclusions suggesting implications for suggest, suggesting implications for the field of knowledge next recognizing limitations in the current study making recommendation for future research work as uh, while writing your uh, <coughs> thesis or decision so you used to write further research work so here you can see further studies should or a natural progression of this way to analyze or several questions still remain to be answered so like that you can start a sentence or a further study could assess the long term effects of so like that you can make use of this option to write your further uh, that is further research findings so here all you can use this kind of uh, sentences also further research could usefully explore how or further research is required to determine whether or further research should be carried out to establish like that you can use this <coughs> this kind of sentences also so like that you can make use of this academic phrase bank to write your research article very uh, in a very better language so the starting of the research paper writing is all often a uh, little bit uh, uh, that is little bit uh, tough to start so if you if you started using this kind of tool so it will go on and you can explore different uh, templates available so this academic phrase bank is not only helpful for us to write research paper so in order to get rid of plagiarism in a common sentence used by all of our research paper right uh, that is researchers so you can use this academic phrase bank to uh, change the phrase of the particular sentences or start of the particular sentences to make uh, to get rid of uh, research paper writing and make your uh, content in your research paper very unique hope this video will be very helpful for you so go on and explore this academic fresh bank and start your research paper in a good quality with a good quality of language so thank you for watching our videos have a nice day thank you